Giannis in France writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, I love your videos. Well, thank you, sir. Is there any difference between physically turning the knobs on my amplifier to get the sound I want versus messing with an equalizer on my computer? Is one better than the other? I see a lot of reviewers talk about the unfortunate lack of tone controls on some cheap amplifiers, but if you can use a software equalizer and get the same effect, surely it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so what we're talking about here is the difference between an analog equalizer or a digital equalizer, better known sometimes as DSP, which is Digital Signal Processing. Okay, and yeah, there's, in function, there's, there's really no difference. But in a practical sense, there's quite a big difference. So let's talk about that. First off, the obvious difference. <laughs> One, you have to have an analog signal that remains analog, and you run it through an analog equalizer. And the other, DSP, or digital signal processing, running it through a computer, you have to take the analog signal and convert it to digital. Then you can mess with it and then put it back to analog in order to hear it. So in a computer, the op we can say the opposite is also true. So let's say you have a CD and you've got that burned to your computer and you play it you hear it, it's already digital. It's then being converted to analog so you can hear it. Well, in that case, there is no downside whatsoever. In fact, there's a big upside in using the DSP if it's already digital. And DSP is basically much better, much cleaner than analog when it comes to EQing, doing the work. We can make filters that are just about near perfect in DSP. In analog, on a preamplifier or a power amplifier or whatever a receiver, when you have a treble, bass, loudness control, that's all analog. And those sound, they can sound just fine. But technically, DSP is better. So, I guess the quick answer to that is it all depends on what you're doing and why you're doing it. So if it were me and I had my analog signal, somehow I got this analog signal, even if it came through a DAC, I would probably stay in any kind of analog domain for EQ. Well, frankly, I wouldn't use EQ, <laughs> but that's me. Um, I, I'm just not a big fan of equal, equalizing stuff. I, I like EQ for things like, oh, a subwoofer, okay? So in our case upstairs, we have a subwoofer that is low pass filtered, meaning everything below a certain frequency is let through and everything above is eliminated. And that uses an analog filter and it's just fine. I wouldn't want to convert it from analog to digital just to do the EQ and then back again. That makes no sense to me. So I guess, again, if you're already in the analog domain and you have tone controls, then using the knobs on there is probably the better way to go. If you're already digital, if you've already got your music into the computer, <laughs> then by all means use the computer's EQ. So hope that's, hope that's something that you can make some sense out of. All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.